On behalf of the University of Bergen, it is a great pleasure to welcome you all to this year's announcement of the Holberg Prize and the Nils Klimt Prize. We live in an age of unprecedented technological advancement. As individuals, but also as society, we seem to struggle to keep up with the development. In the end, the most complex element of technological advancement is still the creative force that drives innovation. We humans are the essence of our own development, problems and solutions. To understand ourselves and society, we look to the academic disciplines of the humanities, social sciences, law and, technology, and theology. After all, knowledge that derives from these disciplines, highlighted by the Holberg Prize, influences us every day often without us knowing it. The achievements in these academic fields form both foundations and superstructures. These form the memories, the knowledge, and the framework of society, and they let us draw upon knowledge about ourselves. Therefore, it is of highest importance that ambitious scholars who, for example, seek to explore and understand cultural expression, development of political processes, religious identity, or ideas fundamental to democracy are recognized. Global societal challenges are currently at the top of the agenda, both here in Norway, but also in the rest of the world. Here in Bergen, you, uh, we recently hosted the second Norwegian annual conference on the UN Sustainable Development Goals. This year's conference theme highlighted the importance of critical approach and the need for a deeper understanding of complex societal challenges. We know that the, di the disciplines covered by the Holberg Prize will play a key role when we seek to tackle the global challenges in the future. When the Norwegian Parliament, Stortinget, established the Ludwig Holberg Memorial Fund in 2003, the goal was to raise awareness of the importance of these academic disciplines. Since then, it has been the privilege of our university to be associated with these highly recognized prizes. The prizes are funded through a direct allocation by the government, and last year funding was increased significantly. After 
the Holberg Prize and the Nils Klim Prize were first awarded in 2004, many outstanding recipients have been selected. The awards and the laureates have sparkled, sparked national as well as international attention and debate, which in turn has led to increased awareness of the importance of these fields. I would like to inform you also about the upcoming Holberg Week, which will be hosted from the 3rd to the 2nd of June. The academic events are open to the public and will be a celebration in the spirit of Ludwig Holberg. Now, to tell you who will receive this year's Holberg Prize and Nils Klim Prize, I will give the floor to the chairman of the Holberg Board. Please welcome Professor Sigmund Grenmo. Thank you, Professor Margaret Hagen, Pro-Rector of the University of Bergen. The Holberg Prize is administered by the University of Bergen on behalf of the Norwegian Ministry of Education and Research. The university has appointed a board for the Holberg Prize. Every year, the board awards two prizes within the academic fields of uh, the arts and humanities, social science, law and theology the main Holberg Prize and the Nils Klim Prize. The prizes are awarded by the board on behalf of the University of Bergen and on the recommendation of uh, academic committees, which consist of outstanding scholars in the fields covered by the prizes. The prizes are intended to raise the status of the arts and humanities, social science, law and theology, and to increase society's awareness of the importance of research in these fields. The award ceremony for the Holberg Prize and the Nils Klim Prize takes place in Bergen in June every year, and this year's ceremony is in the University Aula on the 5th of June. The Nils Klim Prize is awarded annually to a young Nordic scholar under 35 years of age. The prize is awarded to researchers who have made outstanding contributions either within one discipline or through interdisciplinary work. The independence and innovativeness of the researchers' work are particularly important. It is also considered whether the research contributions are especially outstanding or promising in light of the researchers' age, the nature of the research project, and the research traditions in the researchers' academic field. The value of the prize is 500,000 Norwegian kroner, approximately 51,000 euros, or 58,000 US dollars. On behalf of the University of Bergen, and on the recommendation of the Nils Klim Committee, the board of the Holberg Prize has decided that this year's Nils Klim Prize goes to Dr. Finnur Delsen. Finnur Delsen, born 1984, is an Icelandic scholar within the field of philosophy. He is an associate professor at the Department of History and Philosophy, University of Iceland. He has a bachelor's degree from the University of Iceland and a master's degree from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, where he completed his PhD in 2014. He has been a postdoctoral research fellow at the University College Dublin and an associate professor at the Inland Norway University of Applied Sciences, where he is now an, an adjunct professor. In 2018, Dr. Delsen received the Lawener Prize for up and coming philosophers. I would like to ask Professor Tunes Sverdrup to present the committee's review of Finnur Delsen and his contributions. The Nils Klim Committee has decided to recommend Associate Professor Finnur Ulf Delsen at the Department of Philosophy, University of Iceland, 
as this year's recipient of the Nils Klim Prize. Finnur Ulf Delsen is an outstanding and original philosopher. Despite his young age, he is in the cutting edge of his field, with an impressive list of publications in internationally renowned journals. In 2014, Finnur Delsen completed his PhD at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, with a dissertation entitled Epistemology of Science, Acceptance, Explanation and Realism. His research has mainly been focused on epistemology and the philosophy of science. Delsen pursues a cluster of questions in relation to the epistemic status of scientific realism, the problem of accounting for explanatory rivalry in the context of inferences to the best explanation, the distinction between accepting a scientific theory and believing it, and whether all scientific explanations are causal explanations. In addition, Delsen shows how, from a realist perspective, the acceptance of theory depends on social and historical factors, such as the structure of scientific communities, scientific dogmatism, and the time that has passed since a theory first was accepted. In the recent works, Delsen pursues the question of what constitutes scientific progress, arguing that it should be conceived in terms of the advancement of scientific understanding instead of increased knowledge. Delsen convincingly claims that the distinction between knowledge and understanding lies in the fact that understanding, as opposed to knowledge, requires neither belief nor justification. Through this line of argument, Delsen is likely to move the primary focus of it epistemology towards the condition of understanding and the nature of acceptance of scientific explanations. Finner Delsen writes about highly complex philosophical matters in a clear and concise style. He frequently takes examples from everyday life to clarify his arguments while using technical language and formal logic to substantiate them. He thoroughly examines the arguments involved and fairly considers alternative accounts of topics in question. The committee is impressed by the originality, perceptiveness and precision of his philosophical work. Thank you, Professor Tone Sverdrup, Chair of the Nils Klim Committee. The Holberg Prize is awarded annually to scholars who have made outstanding contributions to research in the arts and humanities, social science, law or theology, either within one discipline or through interdisciplinary work. The laureate must have had a decisive influence on international research. The value of the prize is 6 million Norwegian kroner, approximately 620,000 euros or 700,000 US dollars. On behalf of the University of Bergen and on the recommendation of uh, the Holberg Committee, the board of the Holberg Prize has decided that this year's Holberg Prize goes to Professor Paul Gilroy. Paul Gilroy, born 1956, is a British academic and writer. He is professor of American and English literature at King's College, London. He completed his PhD at Birmingham University in 1986. He has been affiliated with South Bank University, Essex University and Goldsmiths University of London. At Yale University, he was the Charlotte Marion Saden Professor of Sociology and African American Studies as well as the chair of the Department of African American Studies. At London School of Economics, he was the first holder of the Anthony Giddens Professorship in Social Theory. 
He has also been a visiting professor at the University of Utrecht. Professor Gilroy has received honorary doctorates from several universities. He is an elected fellow of the British Academy and the Royal Society of Literature. And he is an elected international honorary member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. I would like to ask Professor Dame Hazel Genn to present the committee's review of Paul Gilroy and his scholarly contributions. The Holberg Committee has decided to recommend Professor Paul Gilroy of King's College London as the recipient of the 2019 Holberg Prize. Paul Gilroy is one of the most challenging and inventive figures in contemporary scholarship. His work has influenced and in some cases reshaped several fields and subfields, including cultural studies, critical race studies, sociology, history, anthropology and African-American studies. He is a preeminent scholar of modernity's counter history, as well as the relationship of modernity, overdevelopment, and underdevelopment in the black Atlantic world. Gilroy's scholarship continues to set the terms for investigation and study, not only in these areas, but also the role of racial and ethnic hierarchies in the production of colonialism and nations, the diasporic relations of exchange and circulation, the social formations they produce and the cultures they generate. Gilroy established himself as a major intellectual figure with his study of cultures of racism in Britain, There Ain't No Black in the Union Jack in 1987. This has become a classic text delineating the convoluting workings of racism as well as the vitality of cultures of anti-racism. In his 1993 book, Introducing a Networked Model of Culture, the Black Atlantic, Modernity and Double Consciousness, is a late 20th century landmark. It transformed the study of diaspora in today's humanities and social sciences, and it offered an alternative to essentialist conceptions of identity by showing how race, nation and ethnicity are culturally constituted. With his third major work, Against Race, in 2000, there is a shift in emphasis from the cultures of racism to the question of race itself. More recently, Gilroy has returned to the question of the Black Atlantic in different ways, notably the further exploration of Du Bois and other black intellectuals in the remarkable Darker Than Blue on the Moral Economies of Black Atlantic Culture in 2010. Gilroy continues to challenge racialized thinking and to assert the possibilities of alternative models of living together. As his 2014 Tanner lectures demonstrate, Gilroy has maintained his reputation as an original thinker and public intellectual who remains fearlessly outspoken on matters of race and racism. He is a sensitive interpreter of black aesthetics and has contributed significant groundbreaking scholarship to the areas of popular music and expressive culture across the Black Atlantic. He has collaborated on important film productions and curated photographic projects with internationally recognised artists and filmmakers. Gilroy has been a courageous and inspiring figure whose work has been transformative, dealing with some of the most pressing issues of our time. Thank you, Professor Dame Hazel Genn, Chair of the Holberg Committee. Let me remind you that the award ceremonies and several other events related to the Holberg Prize will take place here in Bergen on the 3rd, 4th and 5th of June and in Oslo on the 6th of June. Let me also express our great gratitude to the brass trio participating in the event this morning. They started our program with Le Réjouissance from Music for the Royal Fireworks by Georg Friedrich Händel and they will now end the program with Jägerkor from the opera Der Freischutz by Karl, by Karl Maria von Weber. Both pieces are arranged for brass trio by Emil Christiansen Böre, who plays trumpet. The other musicians are Torbjörn Karlsson on horn and Emilia Synöve Liknes on trombone. Thank you all 
for watching this event on our website around the world and for coming here to the media city Bergen this morning. Thank you very much and please welcome the Brass Trio. Thank you. 